Uh, we played this joint like a couple weeks ago called Drop It Off. And uh, I know we was, uh, I, mean, I was joking a little bit because it took me back to my Uber Eats days when I was driving, you that's know, doing deliveries. About, that's what it's about. That's okay. Right. That's literally what it's about. It's about just bringing the idea of bringing a woman into the concept of just getting delivered. The, Come through, baby. The JJ. I'm going to call it that. Like you just He's trying it. to grow a legacy with this girl. Just, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm already got two. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm trying to build an empire. <laughs> I feel it. That's I feel the plan, it. man. That is the plan. So, so, yeah, okay. That is a good, uh, that is a really creative idea for a song, you know? It was just, my fault. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no, go, go, yeah. It was literally just one of those moments where just, like, arriving to the studio, singing the same thing. I need you to drop it all. Woo! You know what I mean? Simply just singing the same thing over and over, and then literally, because over the last couple of years, I have cut out the whole writing aspect, mm, and right. I just want to like, because I punch it, punch right. it a lot, punch it a lot, because it saves time. And right. I've gotten to the idea like, well, this is just how I work. If I spend, say, if I get two hours, mm-hmm. if I'm working on a song that I wrote, if I get there halfway through and I'm not a fan of it, now I just only have thirty minutes left. You know what I mean? Now I have absolutely no time to pivot or. But if I'm going straight off the head and literally just going with the flow of the session, then literally I can be 10 minutes into the session and be like, eh, now nah, I'm good. Let's go to the next beat. <laughs> See, what I do, I usually just write like beforehand, before studio time, you know, so I would just figure all that stuff beforehand, you know what I mean? And so literally like once I get in, I'm ready to go. I already know what I'm doing and all that. Right, right. If I want to like do some experimental stuff, we can, you know, do that during no, but studio I'm time. saying on the lines of like you can be in the studio, like mm-hmm. that that's fine. That that works all fine. But when right. you're in there and then all of a sudden, like because we've all recorded records there, you get through and you're like, This doesn't sound like how yeah. I had it in my head. Oh, right, right. right. I mean, this yeah. doesn't this doesn't this isn't what I envisioned. Mm-hmm. I don't want to do I don't want it to sound like and if it doesn't sound exactly how I had it in my head, mm-hmm. I don't want to do it anymore. Mm-hmm. That's just the type of person I am. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? So I'll just go strictly right on to the next one. So would that be like the words or like more like the message? Uh, yeah, just yeah, the it's words. Just the words. Because okay. literally sometimes like when you have the when you're when you're getting to those moments where you're just writing, yeah. Sometimes you're just writing to write. But mm. at the same time, yeah. cer- certain times like when you're doing it like the way I said I was doing it, you also sometimes there's bad moments where you're not saying anything. Like, you know what I mean? Where like you're just you're just talking. You're just making lyrics. You're just putting stuff together. And then at the end of the time, when you hear the song, you're like, eh, this song is literally about nothing. <laughs> like, and I've, had, <laughs> yes, I've yes. had I feel it. beautiful yeah. songs that come out great, right. but they are but literally, no ask me about what it is about. Hey, man, yeah. what is this song? I don't know. Like, I haven't the slightest of clues. Yeah. It just came out super dope. Hey, Andre 3000, he did that same thing, you know, where the song was like, hey. It was like, very. Yeah. it had a very dark meaning. But like there was like this one part of the song, he was like, "You guys don't want to hear about this. You just want to get up and dance." Yeah, right, 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 right exactly. <laughs> so like, it's really like so that sometimes the songs I would be like sometimes it's about nothing, you know. Yeah. Man, so um, this uh, project comes off of Vice's the prequel. Sure. Um, so how how did how does uh this this track you know drop it off? Um, getting your delivery, how does that fit fit with like a Vice? You know, so boom. When I came up with the idea, because literally that's it's called the prequel because I'm supposed to have an album called Love Versus Lust. Okay. And so literally at one point I was talking to this life coach that I had a couple of years ago and he was telling me because I was like, man, I have all this stuff going on and I genuinely sometimes don't know what, what, where I'm supposed to be, what I'm supposed to be doing. And then he was like, it came up to the point where, all right, well, majority of your music, majority of your content, everything you tell me, your issues come from women. Mm. or it comes from it comes from um just the idea of not having like you know what i mean if that makes sense yeah. so i was like right. so he's like so technically a vice of yours is women mm. like that's one of your main like things so i wanted to put i only put two records on here because i wanted to be like a quick little two-pack uh just to give you the feeling of love and then the feeling of let me bring 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 the the JJ over here. <laughs> Bring the JJ. Yeah, man. That's like that hot food, yo. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 